Visva Bharati University Bengali, by B. is a public central university located in Santiniketan, West Bengal. It was founded by Rabindranath Tagore who called it Visva Bharati, which means the communion of the world with India. Until independence it was a college. Soon after independence, in 1951, the institution was given the status of a university and was renamed Visva Bharati University. The English daily, The Nation, notes, using the money he received with his Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913, the school was expanded and renamed Visva Bharati University. It grew to become one of India's most renowned places of higher learning, with a list of alumni that includes Nobel-winning economist Amartya Sen, globally renowned filmmaker Satyajit Ray and the country's leading art historian R. Shiva Kumar, to name just a few. History The origins of this eminent university date back to 1863 when Maharshi Dabendranath Tagore, the Zamindar of Saladaha in East Bengal, was given a tract of land by Babu Siddhikanda Sinha, the Zamindar of Raipur, which is a neighbouring village not far from Bolapur and present-day Santiniketan and set up an ashram at the spot that has now come to be called Chatham Tala at the heart of the town. The ashram was initially called Brahmacharya Ashram, which was later renamed Brahmacharya Vidyalaya. It was established with a view to encouraging people from all walks of life to come to the spot and meditate. In 1901 his youngest son Rabindranath Tagore established a coeducational school inside the premises of the ashram. From 1901 onwards, Tagore used the ashram to organize the Hindu Mela, which soon became a center of nationalist activity. Through the early 20th century the Zamindars of Sural Sarkar family, another neighbouring village, a few minutes by cycle from the Uttarayan complex, and the Zamindars of Taltor, a village just north of the university town, continued to sell their lands and other properties to the ashram and the college that was being built on this spot. On 23 December 1921, Tagore formally started the college with proceeds from the prize money of the Nobel Prize he received in 1913 for the publication of his book of poems Gitanjali. The college also became a center of Brahmo learning in this period. It was granted full university status in May 1951 by the Government of Independent India. Rabindranath Tagore's eldest son, Rathindranath Tagore, became the first Upacharya vice -chancellor of the new university. Another member of the Tagore family who performed the role of Upacharya was Indira Devi Chaudhurani, a niece of the poet. Rabindranath Tagore believed in open-air education and had reservations about any teaching done within four walls. This was due to his belief that walls represent conditioning of mind. Tagore did not have a good opinion about the Western method of education introduced by the British in India. On this subject, Tagore and Gandhiji's opinion matched. Tagore once said, I do not remember what I was taught, I only remember what I learned." Tagore's idea on education was that every person is genius and that all students may not bloom at the same time. So he devised a new system of learning in Visva Bharati. He allowed students to continue their course till the student and his teacher both are satisfied. At Visva Bharati University, if a course demanded by a student is not available, then the university will design a course and bring teachers for that course. The university would not be bothered by the consideration of whether there is a demand for the course. Topic: <inaudible> Administration. The high officials of the university include the paritarshaka, visitor, acharya, chancellor, and the upacharya, vice chancellor. The paritarshaka of this university is the president of India, while the acharya is the prime minister. The university is run by its Karma Samiti Executive Council, which is chaired by the Acharya. The institutes and departments are located in both Santiniketan and Sriniketan. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academics. The university is divided into institutes, centers, departments, and schools. The respective departments are included in the institutes. The university's programs dealing with its rich cultural heritage, as well as art and dance education, are funded by the Department of Science and Technology DST, Government of India. Topic Institutes and Museums The China Bhavana Institute of Chinese Language and Culture was founded in April 1937 with the Great Vision of Tagore. 
Tagore invited Professor Tan Yunshan to serve as the first chairperson of China Bhavana. International scholars such as Jan Yun Hua worked at the China Bhavana on topics ranging from Sino Indian studies to Buddhism and Chinese philosophy. Chiang Kai shek and Zhou Enlai donated a large number of Chinese books to the institute, making it one of the most important libraries for classical Chinese studies in India. Darshan Bhavana Institute of Philosophy, this department is well known for its research and teaching. Jaten Mohanty has been associated with the work of this department. The Kala Bhavana Institute of Fine Arts is arguably one of the most well-known of the departments, it boasts an extremely well-known faculty and student body. It is most famous for the spread of Bengal School of Art. Abhinindranath Tagore, one of India's most eminent artists was one of its founders and chief patrons. Luminaries such as Abhinindranath Tagore, Gaganendranath Tagore, Nandalal Bose, Binod Bihari Mukherjee, Ramkinkar Baij, Dinkar Kashik, K. G. Subramanian, A. Ramachandran and R. Shiva Kumar have either taught or been students here while Bayahar Ramanohar Sinha did both, studying 1946–51 and then teaching 1953–56 and 1959–62. Pali Charcha Kendra Srinikatan Pali Samgathana Vibhaga PSV Institute of Rural Reconstruction Srinikatan Pali Sicha Bhavana Institute of Agricultural Science Srinikatan Rabindra Bhavana Institute of Tagore Studies and Research Uttarayan Complex Swapan Chakrabarti is the director of this institution Sangeet Bhavana Institute of Dance, Drama and Music The eminent Rabindra Sangeet singer Kanika Bindiopadhyay was a principal of Sangeet Bhavana Next principal was another eminent singer, Nalima Sen. The Sicha Bhavana Institute of Science includes the Department of Biotechnology DBT funded, GOVT of India, Zoology CAS Center for Environmental Studies, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, Statistics, Computer Science, and Botany. Silpa Sadan Institute of Craft and Design Srinikatan is a reputed institute of Visva Bharati engaged in promoting crafts and design education which was set up by Gurudev Rabindranath Tagore in 1922 to uplift craft and craftsmen, thereby improving the rural economy. Computer Center Center for Instruction, Research and Extension Activities Rural Extension Center Srinikatan The Vidya Bhavana Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences includes the Humanities and Social Science Departments, such as the Department of History and the Department of Economics. The Bhasha Bhavana Institute of Language Literature and Cultural Studies includes various Indian language departments and European language departments such as Tamil, Telugu, Odia, Marathi, Santali, Bengali, Sanskrit, English, German, French, Italian, Russian and Indo-Tibetan studies. Vinaya Bhavana Institute of Education and Physical Education Bangladesh Bhavana Associated institutes Both institutes are now affiliated with the West Bengal University of Technology which was formed to bring all engineering education under different universities in West Bengal under a single umbrella. IIIT Kolkata International Institute of Information Technology was renamed to IERCEM Institute of Information Technology after its affiliation with the WBUT. Topic. Schools Patha Bhavana, it is not only the oldest school of the university but also the oldest institution on which the university was subsequently built. It is the University School of Santiniketan. Initially called Ashram Vidyalaya it was later called Santiniketan Vidyalaya. It was started by Tagore in 1901. The distinctive features of this coeducational school include its open-air classrooms and emphasis upon oriental learning. The school, being the nucleus of the university and the town is within the Santiniketan ashram. The first four students of the school included Tagore's son Rathindranath Tagore, the first Upacharya of the university and Sudhi Ranjan Das, a Chief Justice of India. The future Nobel laureate in economics, Amartya Sen, graduated from this school. So did one of the first Indian Rhodes scholars, Asim Datta. Supriyo Tagore, a great-grandson of Satendranath Tagore, the eldest brother of the poet, was one of its longest-serving and most well-known principals. The eminent historians, Tapan Raychaudhuri and Ashin Dasgupta have periodically taken classes here. 
Rinalini Ananda Pathsala, founded in 1954, it was named after Rabindranath Tagore's wife Rinalini Devi. It is a preparatory school for Patha Bhavana. It is housed in the Notan Bari and Dahali. Santosh Pathsala, founded in 1988, it is a kindergarten named after Santosh Chandra Majumdar. It is a preparatory school for Sicha Shastra. Sicha Shatra, it was founded in 1924. It was later shifted to Srinikatan in 1927. The students are from the neighboring villages. Uttar Shiksha Sadhana, this school was started in 1976. Rankings The National Institutional Ranking Framework ranked Visva Bharati University 48 overall in India and 31 among universities in India. Library Visva Bharati Library was established in 1901, at the time of foundation of the Brahmacharya Asrama at Santiniketan by Rabindranath Tagore. Presently, Visva Bharati Library System has a central library, 12 sectional libraries attached with China Bhavana, Sicha Bhavana, Patha Bhavana, Darshan Sadhan, Hindi Bhavana, Sangat Bhavana, Pali Sangathan Vibhaga, Vinaya Bhavana, Rabindra Bhavana, Pali Sicha Bhavana, Kala Bhavana and Sicha Satra. Moreover, around 30 seminar libraries are in operation attached to different departments. Visva Bharati Library contains old and rare documents, which include multi-lingual and multi-discipline books, reports, manuscripts, etc. The library also has a number of important collections. Mention may be made of the collections of Rabindranath Tagore, Prabodh Chandra. <laughs> Guest houses The university has two guest houses, Ratan Pali named after the eminent early 20th century industrialist and scion of Tata family, Sir Ratan Tata and Purba Pali. <laughs> Campus life The twin towns of Santiniketan and Srinikatan are surrounded by Bolpur to the north, Kaya to the south, Searle to the east and Prantik to the west. The towns and the university are not far from the river Kopai which flows to the south. This university is especially famous for its cultural festivals. Basanta Utsab Spring Festival. This festival is identified with Dolyatra or Holi, which is held on the grounds in front of Patha Bhavana. Paush Mela Winter Fair. It is the annual winter fair which is held every Paush which coincides with December on Purono Malar Moth opposite the ashram and next to the Uttarayan complex, as well as on Malar Moth, Bubandangar Moth which is next to the administrative block. The fair is meant to encourage the local people of Burbam and outlying districts to come and exhibit and sell their wares. Jatras, such as Alkop, are staged and bulls perform at the fair. On the first day of the fair, the 23rd of December, the university organizes an Upasana Sabha at Chatimtela under a Chatham tree, the spot where Maharshi Dabendranath Tagore established his ashram for the first time in 1863. On the 24th of December the university organizes a display of lights and fireworks on Malar Moth, a custom started by the poet, Rabindranath Tagore himself. On Christmas Day, the university organizes the Christo Utsab, which is meant as a mark of respect for all religions. Notable alumni Eminent academics Topic. See also Kala Bhavana List of universities in India The Last Harvest – Paintings of Rabindranath Tagore